Welcome to Schmidt & Clark Law Firm, where we have been dedicated to assisting individuals and families since 1992. Today, we delve into a significant case concerning the Breville Fast Slow Cooker. The Breville Fast Slow Cooker, a popular kitchen appliance, has been the center of safety concerns. According to the US Consumer Product Safety Commission CPSC in December 2015, they were issued a recall notice for more than 35,600 Breville pressure cookers over a risk of a Breville slow cooker explosion due to a potentially defective pressure release valve. The recall affects fast and slow cookers with model number BPR600XL and batch numbers between 1,235 and 1,529. Breville Fast Slow Cookers were sold from September 2012 through October 2015 for around $180 at stores like Bed Bath Beyond, Best Buy, Macy's, Sur La Table, Williams Sonoma, Amazon.com, and BrevilleUSA.com. Product liability lawsuits have been initiated against manufacturers of pressure cookers sold since approximately 2010. These legal actions have arisen from numerous reports of injuries and damages including serious burns, burns from hot steam, second-degree and third-degree burns, eye injuries that resulted in blindness, traumatic brain injuries, scalds, permanent scarring and disfigurement. Additionally, these incidents have caused damage to kitchens and other property, among other reported harms. As claimed by the Kidspot organization, in September 2016, a woman suffered horrific burns over 10% of her body when her Breville fast slow cooker exploded. Boiling hot water and sticky foods were ejected, causing second-degree burns and blisters all over her arms, neck, and shoulder. Despite the pain, she drove herself to Cairns Base Hospital. She was hospitalized for five days, as doctors feared she would develop infections from the burns. After going home, the woman investigated the Breville Fast Slow Cooker batch number BPR200 and discovered that it had been recalled in 2015. She never knew that Breville recalled the fast and slow pressure cookers, although she registered her address when she bought the pressure cooker in 2013. In June 2023, a lawsuit was filed against Breville Inc. by a Tennessee resident who suffered burns from an exploding fast, slow pressure cooker upon opening the lid, according to the lawsuit. The plaintiff, identified as Hannah F., alleges that she sustained injuries from a defective Breville fast, slow pressure cooker model BPR600XL, According to her account, on June 5, 2022, she was utilizing the pressure cooker to prepare a roast. Upon completion of the cooking cycle, she waited for several minutes for the steam to dissipate. Assuming it was safe, she proceeded to open the lid, only to have it explode, causing burns to her abdomen. She described the incident as follows the pressure cooker's lid blew off with extreme force. As it exploded, the pressure cooker sprayed superheated liquid and steam across her body. Despite Breville Inc.'s purported safety features, she asserts that the lid was easily removable, while a hazardous amount of steam remained trapped within the pressure cooker's pot. Furthermore, she contends that Breville has continued to market defective pressure cookers, despite other reported incidents of exploding pressure cookers attributed to identical design and manufacturing flaws. Breville received at least five reports of people who suffered burns including second-degree burns to the hands, arms, or stomach as well as five reports of steam or scalding hot contents exploding out of the fast slow cooker due to built-up pressure. Based on data provided by the National Electronic Injury Surveillance System NICE, the demographic profile of pressure cooker users skews towards individuals over the age of 30. Analysis reveals that 46% of reported injuries involve individuals aged between 30 and 50, while 10% pertain to those aged between 51 and 70. Notably, in cases involving individuals under the age of 21, 25% of incidents indicate parental or guardian involvement in operating the pressure cooker. An examination of 39 sampled instances of pressure cooker-related emergency room visits documented by the National Electronic Injury Surveillance System in 2008 unveils that only eight cases pertain to individuals under the age of 32. Among the injured, 17 experienced incidents where the pressure cooker either exploded or released scalding liquids from the cooking pot, leading to burn injuries. The remaining 22 individuals sustained contact burns or steam burns through direct interaction with the pressure cooker, accidental spills of hot liquids, or exposure to emitted vapor. In terms of settlements, the average settlement for a defective pressure cooker lawsuit will probably be around $125,000 to $200,000 for second-degree burns and $600,000 to $2 million for third-degree burns. 
pressure cooker lawsuits involving facial burns with permanent disfigurement will be at the higher end of the scale. Our team at Schmidt & Clark Law Firm is stepping up to the challenge, advocating for those impacted by the Bravel Fast Slow Cooker. If you've suffered due to this product, we're here to guide you through the legal maze. Contact us for a free consultation and let us help amplify your voice.